Hey everyone, Nick Dearbertis here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be talking about the lab exercise for sensitivity analysis in Python as part of the lecture series on exploring the parameter space. So we left off last time we had covered all the material on sensitivity analysis in Python and now we're coming here to the last slide which has the lab exercise for Python sensitivity analysis. And that is analogous to the exercise we completed in Excel. You're going to be adding sensitivity analysis to your project one model. Um, and so what we just went through with adding the uh, sensitivity analysis to the dynamic salary retirement model in Python is gonna be really useful for completing this exercise. So watch that carefully and carry out some of the same steps over there. Now, since this is working with your own model, um, there's a good chance that your model will not have the structure required to be able to extend it in any way. If you're accessing the model data directly inside your logic, rather than having a function which accepts an arbitrary data and working with that arbitrary data, uh, then this is not going to work. You're going to have to go back and restructure it. Um, you should never be accessing that um, original model data from within your functions. And you should have one function where you can pass it the uh, data class and get the result of the entire model, uh, the MPV um, and cash flows, um, by just running a single function. So you'll need to have both of those things in place before you can even go and start on this exercise. So you should definitely go back and restructure things uh, to be able to complete this. And don't just think, well, my model is too far gone, I'll just skip this lab exercise because as we go forward in the course, we're gonna have more of these similar exercises of extending project one. And so you really need to, to rebuild it in a way that is going to be flexible to any extensions that you can add to it. And I set it up this way because you want to always structure your models this way, and this will really teach you why you want to structure them this way. That way you can actually extend them rather than um, the model is what it is. So that's the main idea here. And then uh, unlike the Excel exercise where you're looking at doing just conditional formatting in a table, here we're going to have the hexman plot as well as the styled uh, data frame as the outputs. So that's the lab exercise for the Python sensitivity analysis, and that wraps up this segment on exploring the parameter space. So thanks for listening. Next time we'll be talking about probability modeling. So I'll see you next time.